Hi everyone. Well, thinking about uh, using a 3D modeling software, but you want something in VR. Well, you can try this one. It's called Draw 3D. Uh, I'm using this one on the Quest 2 and it's free and you can actually check it out on the Oculus Store and on SideQuest uh, app. So basically what it does, well, using a relatively simple uh, 3D modeling app in the virtual reality where you can again just uh, move around the environment and use different tools uh, for example to uh, paint to uh, extrude uh, and apply different things to uh, vertices or objects or just the face of the 3d object now all these things you see here i haven't created them i mean my journey by the way to 3d modeling started back many years ago where i actually learned uh, 3d studio max all the three big books and uh, later on uh, uh, I changed uh, because again 3D Studio Max they stopped it so I need to learn something new and then I changed to Maya and then I changed to Blender but let's say it like that it was a long time ago and I wasn't consistent uh, but I have some basics so I do understand uh, quite a bit aside from that I also did lots of Instagram filters where I actually spent time in both programming and in 3D modeling as well uh, but again many cases I just brought uh, and bought or downloaded free one that I can use uh, 3d models uh, from different stores nonetheless there is an option to both import an object file so we can use your own 3d model you created or the one that you got uh, and bring it into the app and continue working on it uh, you can save it and also export an uh, object uh, file uh, which includes of course the scene uh, that you're actually building and you can bring it to other 3D modeling software like Maya, for example, or Blender to continue working on that there. The cool thing is that uh, the painting, I actually really like it. There's an option to choose uh, different colors from the color wheel. Uh, I love really painting, but you can see that it is limited. I mean, it has quite a few options like snapping and stuff. You're going to see it in a moment, but uh, it is limited. So forget about something that is professional, that really has a very large uh, selection of tools so you can really create whatever you like. This is not this one. It's uh, very minimalistic and basic, but still allows me to really toy around and have fun uh, modeling in 3D. And if you, especially if you're a beginner or new to 3D modeling, this would be very accessible to you. Having said that, there isn't any, um, any tutorial. Uh, and I, the other thing that I didn't like is that it just used one hand. I was also to be able to use the second hand for something else, to command one hand for, let's say, painting, the other one for extruding, but I couldn't do it. It either uses right hand or the second hand, unfortunately, because again, for productivity or just you know, doing different things, you really want to be able to just use the same, you know, the same option, uh, just with the two hands. So definitely would be something great, but it's not available in this app, unfortunately. Uh, I didn't even first know how to didn't know how to move inside the environment, and you actually use it using the grid button. Uh, it was kind of weird. I mean, it's kind of weird that the developer didn't actually mention it. Uh, but again, there isn't tutorial. But just so you know, if you're loading the app, you don't know how to move. Use the grid button. Just slide it to move around the environment. You can move up, down, all direction, six degrees of freedom. Other thing that I really like is the option to again just move around things also duplicate objects which is really cool but because this thing is made of different objects and even uh, what you see here is made of different type of uh, object i was able to separate them i can decide by the way the size of the area of the selection area and then i can move things around and uh, as you can see we're just opening the box like that now i'm going to just show you the duplication i'm going to duplicate different uh, objects so i just wanted to select the end i can move it around we can move the head and i can move the legs because each one is an object by itself i can just select it and again you can also select for the vertices and the faces of the object but here i'm just selecting the object itself you can select the entire object uh, i mean all the objects and move them around and let now uh, just uh, duplicate, for example, the right hand. And later we're going to color it a bit. Again, it's very simple. I mean, what you can do, it's very, very simple to do, especially in VR. So now I'm just duplicating the same hand and putting it like a mega spider, creepy human type of thing. Right? And then I can go to paint. 
and I can just brush it. I can choose the opacity, there are different options for you to choose. And uh, yeah, here I'm using the green button to turn around. Uh, and yeah, very simple. So basically, again, this is, I think it would be good for those who are new to 3D modeling and just want to toy around with it, or those who really want to, hey, this is more experimental, it felt, but again, it doesn't mean that you can create amazing things with it. Even with the basic tools, with a bit of creativity and experience, we can create amazing stuff. And maybe it's good, maybe it's good that it's actually very, very simple because it's more accessible to those who are new, rather than if you jump to an app, a VR app, 3D modeling app that has so many options, you can easily get lost and it can be even demotivating. So you can actually start, maybe it's going to lead to you really wanting to learn 3D modeling and really, you know, spend time. It's all start with something simple, right? So experience it, you know, for me, by the way, it was important to try many different things to see what I like. And I remember when I uh, first started uh, checking out 3D modeling, I jumped in then I spent so much time just learning 3D Studio Max back then because I really love 3D modeling. I think it's just, it, especially if the software has so many tools, I created so many amazing things, animations and stuff that I just, wow, I was very impressed by uh, what the software could do. But again, this was a very, very advanced one. But again, this is in VR. So again, you are there, you're manipulating things uh, with your own hands. So this is something else. So definitely worth trying out if you're new or if you try to see how 3D modeling is and feels in virtual reality, this is a good app to do so. And it does it pretty well without tutorials, unfortunately, but it feels good. It feels accurate, different options for snapping and stuff. So definitely recommend checking it out. If you like what you see, or at least give it a try. Maybe you're going to love to do modeling and that's the thing you're going to do professionally. Who knows? Give it a try. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on the next video. Cheers. Have you subscribed, by the way? If not, press the subscribe button. More videos are coming. Cheers.